Right, let's review this. It's the Hot Point Active Care on number NLLCD947DWDADW UK. Yeah, exactly. I had to read that because it's so long. Um, it's the new range from Hot Point. This was originally a um, return. These come normally with a smoke screen door, but I've had to put a clear one on, obviously, for YouTube purposes. It's actually no different to this door, other than it has a smoke screen around this black bit and all across the the glass. It's just that it's then glued in, so you can't actually remove it um, from the door. Okay, so it's got a inverter motor, which is actually just the brushless motor that the it has changed a little bit, but it's still actually quite noisy. Um, I mean, quiet compared to brushed, but it's one of the more noisiest motors out there. So, at the bottom, there's a kick plate. Behind that is the pump. Right, so we'll turn it on. It does take a while, obviously, to kick in, but we've got a full LCD display there. Um, we've got 15 different programs, there's a card inside the drawer which I'll show you after which will tell you what um, each number is on the program, but um, because everything's actually, because this is a full LCD display, it will tell you when you switch the dial around. So number one is the mix cycle, it used to be called uh, mix colours and stuff like that, it's just now mixed. It allows you to wash a full load um, up to 40 degrees and a 1400 spin. Cool things about this machine uh, so we've got steam hygiene, which will uh, do a steam phase after the wash um, for about 20 minutes. So basically, steam hygiene will sanitize the clothes with steam. Um, we can go into the options. We have uh, rapid and the eco options. So rapid Once selected will drop the cycle time and on the mix it will drop it to one hour uh, They allow you to wash lightly soiled clothes very quickly. It should still take a nine kilogram load but um, The load sensor for this cycle is actually switched off. It's uh, preset as well So when you change the temperature nothing changes one thing with the rapid option though is that the final spin gets limited to certain speeds and it is actually much shorter than the actual regular cycle so things do come out extremely wet um we can change it to eco if we want and the final spin on the eco is limited to 1200 Exactly. Um, it still obviously does it to 40 degrees. It's slightly longer cycle. It's made more to save water and electricity, but really sort of more for light soiled clothes as well, um, weirdly. So it's like the rapid, only rapid, but economically less water and less energy. So. We'll turn it off. Right, when you have Rapid or Eco, you can't select any of the other options other than the Final Care. Final Care, at the end of the cycle, it will do a invert, it will do an anti-crease phase for up to about, I think about six hours or something like that. Um, you can stop it at any point and take out your clothes, but it constantly tumbles the clothes every, periodically to keep creases reduced. That's all Final Care does. Um, then we've got multi-rinse. This will allow you to add up to three rinses to uh, the cycle. We've got an easy iron function, which is made for a reduced load. Um, it limits the final spin. It alters the rinse stages, it does slow intermediate spins as well and will adjust the wash uh, tumbling action as well. 
so it does quite a lot different. Um, it's you can wash with nine kilo. It doesn't really state how much, but um, ideally you need to sort of like reduce the load. Um, also, if you select easy iron, cold wash is unselectable. So what we'll do, we'll go into it and turn that off. Cold wash actually disables everything actually. And what it'll do, it will run the si a cycle at uh, cold. It's a special wash cycle. Basically the cold wash is the same as Hot Point's old eco washes. So the eco washes are now just sort of now just an option on this. Um, and that's all it does. Um, it's made for like aerial XL gel and bold to gels and stuff like that basically mostly gels detergents um because it does a special wash action to uh get the detergent all dissolved so we'll deselect that we'll select then we've got a pre-wash option this is um something that's been disappeared on the hot points for quite a while now um obviously pre-wash in the past would add a, a wash cycle before the main wash that's what pre-wash is and it's no different here it's come back it's quite a good pre-wash actually it does quite an intensive action on the pre-wash and uses um, a fairly bit of water but there's no inter there's no spin after the pre-wash um, like many other manufacturers maybe it's a bit dip behind on that sense but it's pretty good actually um, and then obviously an improved option. Then we've got cycle end signal. Um, again, this is the only other option that can be selected with everything. Basically, what normally happens is at the end of the cycle, it will beat once and then that's it. Cycle end option will beat for up to five minutes instead. And that's really all it does. Um, not missing out there. Um, right, we've also got variable temperature here, and if you notice, when the temperature is lower, um, the cycle is shorter, but if you select rapid or eco, it won't. We've got variable spin, uh, we can have no spin, 400, 600, 800, and all the way up to 1400, but the selecting no spin, it will just do distribution still, I think for like the whole cycle. Then we've got a delay start up to 24 hours. Weirdly, so we've got half an hour steps up to 10 hours, then 11, then 12, then two hour steps all the way up to 24 hours. Which I think is quite good actually, because I never understand why you would have 22 and a half hours or something like that um, as a delay start. Uh, obviously this is a select button, but if you hold it, it becomes the key lock and it will lock out the display or any of the options. Uh, these are the arrow buttons, they don't do anything when you're not in a, a, a menu. Uh, finally we have this button here, which is an actual button with an LED, it's called Active Care. Active Care uses um, a pump, a bit like the Samsung Eco Bubble, and will use the jet to soak the load to save energy and to get optimum wash results in a short time as well. So this has dropped it to one hour. Again, Active Care has limited spin cycles and obviously up to 20 degrees, and that's it. You've got a cold of 20, that's it. You've got nothing else. Except for one other program, which I'll show you later. Okay, so we're going to uh, program two. It's Eco Cotton. It's four hours fifty for a nine kilogram load. It has a load sensor in it, so the uh, smaller the load, the less time it's going to take. Um, the load sensor is on the lot of these programs, uh, and we've got cotton. Cold 20, 30, 40, 50, and sixty. It's mostly on 14 and 60 really, so it doesn't affect the time there. Eco Cotton has its own sort of eco setting on it, so it uses the jet, it uses active care as well. That's the other thing with eco, eco and active care and eco cotton, they all use a jet. 
which you'll see going shortly when they get a wash going. Um, then we've got regular Cotton 60. The Cotton 60 will still use the jet. Um, I'm going to go into some of the options. So with Cotton 6, with normal Cotton, you can select Rapid and Eco. But I'll show you the Rapid. Rapid limits it again uh, to 1200 RPM and you can go up to 60 degrees. And it's 1 hour 40. Quite annoying, I suppose. Um, eco is actually like 1 hour, uh, it's 2 hours 10. You know what I mean? Down from 4 hours to 2 hours 10 for eco. Does that make sense? Now, I've, I've changed it over to synthetics. It's set at 60, but it's 1 hour 30 because the options I've carried over the rapid option. So the rapid option on synthetic 60 is 1 hour 30. Because if I actually take it off, it's actually 2 hours 55 on 40, and we go to 60, it's 3 hours 5 for synthetics. Obviously, up to a half load only, so it's 4.5 kilo on this model. Um, if you've got the larger models, go all the way up to uh, 5.5 kilo, depending which one. Um, Synthetics though, as a modification on this, it's become 1200 RPM now rather than a thousand that it used to be. Basically this synthetic cycle is more on poly cotton um, stuff rather than actual fully polyester and synthetic stuff. Because when we move over one, the dial one, we've got delicates, but this is a delicates that now spins at a thousand RPM. Um, it's preset to 20, but it can go all the way up to 40. And this is actually more made for actual polyester stuff. It's an hour 35, which is much more reasonable. Select Rapid, it's only 45 minutes long. Cool. But again, Rapid limits everything. Then we've got Wool. This is limited to just uh, 2 kilo. Um, it uses the Platinum Hand Wash Wool. Uh, well, it's now got the green label rather than gold. Uh, then we've got anti allergy. It's a cotton based cycle, but it's uh, limited to just 5 kilo. Um, it will hold the temperature at 60 to kill all um, bacteria and uh, mites. And then we'll run uh, several rinses. I think this runs 4 or 5 rinses. Um, to thoroughly rinse the clothes of any detergent residues. This is like really good for those with sensitive skin or with um, sensitivity to dust allergies. So it's really good in that sense. And then we've got anti-stain 40. This is one hour long. This is basically anti-stain turbo 40. Um, the temperature obviously doesn't change the, the time but what's weird is that anti-stain turbo is normally 45 minutes long this is now an hour long for some reason it's limited to a thousand rpm the max load is four and a half kilo half load um up to, of mixed fabrics um there's no actual options as such but we can select active care and it becomes yeah three hours long what that actually now becomes is anti-stain 20, where you can remove 100 stains in at 20 degrees. Cool. Whereas anti-stain turbo will remove 20 of the most common stains in just 45 minutes, or now what? What is one one hour? Yeah. So there's that. Uh, although, and it's still under a thousand. So program nine is the regular cotton white cycle. And Active Care's still on, and it's 3 hours 15. Alright. I didn't realise Active Care is available on this. Nope, didn't realise that. <laughs> I didn't realise Active Care was there. Um, right, so that's Active Care on white cotton there. So, what Active... Um, this, this white cycle is the normal, regular cotton cycle for this machine. So it will use more water in the rinses. This is also um, allows you to go up to 90 degrees, so you can carry out a antibacterial wash. 
the sports team under RPM. And two races, unless you select multi events, you can go up to obviously then five by selecting three. Um, what's unusual with this though is that you've got rapid and eco. If you select rapid, it becomes just one hour long. You can go up to 60. If my voice is now starting to sound a bit iffy, it's because I've actually sort of got a cold. It isn't really wanting to go away. Uh, but And then you can select Eco. But all Eco does on this, weirdly, is just limit the, it's just drop the temperature to 40. I am not kidding, that's all it does. Because then you can still go up to 90. It's still 2 hours 45. That's all Eco does on this. And then we've got Steam Refresh. You can pour up to one half kilo into there and you can uh, basically get rid of odours in just 20 minutes. We've got Rapid 30. Um, you can put up to four and a half kilo of mixed fabrics of cotton, uh, synthetics and even different colours that are very lightly soiled on the, this wash and it'd be done in 30 minutes. It does a limited final spin of 800 RPM. It only does up to 30 degrees. Active Care is available here as well, which is quite odd. Uh, and that takes it up to uh, 45 minutes, which is quite good actually. Then, Pro 112. Now, if you have an Active Care with a full LCD display, you're in luck because you get uh, 10 additional cycles. Well, 9, because 12 normally is a, a natural cycle. Um, but in this, it's actually replaced with this menu. Which has 10 programs in it. We have Ben & Bath. Um, which will allow you to wash bedding or towels um, with a full load. Sheets that have been used for 7 days at 60 degrees. And we'll do uh, 3 rinses as well. Um, it's quite a short cycle because it's only about 2 hours 10. Active Care, this is why Active Care is different on this. Instead of it being 20, it's 40 degrees with Active Care. If you take it off and let it go to 60. It's 2 hours 20 as normal bed and bath. Though I don't recommend actually putting bedding and towels together because every time I do it and in any machine, it will just basically make the machine jump. So don't do it. Um, if we, you've also got options there to select on these additional cycles, but generally on all these cycles, the only options you can select are end signal and um, final care. So that's it. Shirts allows you to wash up to two kilogram of shirts at forty degrees. Business. Um, runs a, a like a delicate cycle to wash um, machine washable suits I tried it but for some reason on this machine there's a programming error only on business but all the other cycles work on this apart from business there's a programming error because it will fill the water and then that's it it won't even come up with code or anything it will just I've done a video on it I'll show you here and it just sits there. It was sat there for 10 hours just with the countdown just stopped. Um, so I don't know actually how it works, but it does do a limited spin of just 400 RPM. Uh, it does obviously at 30 degrees and it is a like a silks based program. Uh, we've got Baby. Um, it's 1 hour 25 on this. Um, it's the same as the Insert My Time. It allows you to wash um, half a load of baby clothes. Uh, it does them at 40 degrees of like mixed fabrics, mostly polyester stuff, of course. Then we've got duvet. It allows you to wash up to about 3 kilogram of uh, duvets. Well, that's really like the same as like, um, I think I put two pillows in. It was fine. They came out quite well, actually, and quite white which is a bit unusual because it only washes at 30. I don't like the fact it only washes at 30 because you're not killing any dust mites. Again this is something like I've been wanting hot point to change and they still haven't done it. Silken curtains um 
is actually just the normal delicate cycle that has been on the past generations of hot points. It's not just specifically sudden curtains. It's 30 degrees and just no spin. There's just a drain only at the end, so clothes will come out completely soaking wet. Um, although you don't really want to spin your curtains or your silks. Then we've got jeans. It will allow you to wash uh, three kilograms of jeans. That's roughly about four or five pairs. Um, up to 40 degrees. There's a limited spin at 800 RPM, but weirdly it runs a cotton cycle. So that's what it does. Then we've got Rapid 15, which will allow you to wash three and a half kilogram. Now what I said for Rapid 30, it's four and a half kilogram. Rapid 15, three and a half kilogram of lightly soiled clothes. Um, again, mixed fabrics doesn't matter because it has limitations of 30 degrees and 800 RPM spin. Then we've got Fitness, which um, is actually the replacement program for sports. Well, they're saying that Hot Points have never had a sport program. Insits have. So really, this is just the Insits version of sport. Intent uh, it's like sport intense. Well, I think it's just sport without the pre-wash. Yeah, it is. And that's it. So that's pretty good. That went quite well, actually. And then the final one I haven't used is called Cuddly Toys. Um, it's 30 degrees, again, no spin at the end, just a drain only. Um, so I, I, I need to use it, but it allows you to wash one kilogram of cuddly toys, or it's basically just one toy. I mean, if I put, like, Thumper in, um, it's about this big. That's enough. Obviously, it's a really gentle action to um, obviously not damage the eyes or anything like that. That's all your programs. Right, program 13, favourites. You can pre, uh, you can save up to five different program and option combos. If that's the one thing I don't like about this machine. The buttons between, say, here and here can be a little too sensitive. Um, not a biggie. I do like the fact they are touch sensitive and actually really responsive as well. If it says not allowed, sorry, you can save up to six program and option combos then we've got spin and drain um, this is spin and drain of a cotton cycle um, it's done in 10 minutes it's rather short um, it does a, a short version of 1400 rpm but it's still rather effective and everything does come out still rather dry and we've got rinse and spin this is two cotton rinses and a final spin um, it does actually go all the way up to 1400, for some reason it's preset itself to 600 RPM. Again, the annoying thing I still don't like about this machine, like all hot points, is, I don't know why they brought this out still, is where you set an option to a program, then like change your mind, and instead of all those options then cancel, it carries over to the next cycle, which means you end up with like, maybe poor spinning or poor temperatures and stuff like that, because it's just not reset itself to it. Ugh. The other thing is I don't like is about these buttons. This one tends to stick, the play up, pause one. Um, they're quite a little bit. Yeah. But I do love the dial. I really love the dial. Let me just show you. See this? See how grippy it is? It's just so nice to turn. And it does slot in place. So the dial I do like. Right, inside then we've got a ratchet door, so there's no door handle to worry about snapping, which is quite common on hot points. Uh, we've got this ratchet door lock, um, which can be proven to be quite reliable. Uh, on some other machines it can be proven to be quite unreliable. So time will tell, it's quite new on the hot point range, so um, only hot point qualities in the past have had it and some instant primes, but other than that. They've been pretty good. Um, we've also got an anti-microbic, that is not a word, hot point, <laughs> door seal. So I suppose the idea is that no door moulds will uh, be created. Though moulds will always be created if there is liquid detergent hanging around still, you'll still get brown mould. But hopefully you won't get any of that black mould 
that normally plagues inserts and hot points setting in on the rubber. Hopefully. Um, we've also got a jet here, which I'll, and it's got a tiny hole in it um, to sort of come down the glass. And it is purposely there. There's a bit of fluff there. That's sort of like uh, stuck in the jet, but it's there. Um, other than that, it's got the nine kilogram drum, um, as seen on the eight kilogram, and and it's got the twelve um, hole paddles. They're all in place still at the minute, but of course they will snap over time um, if you don't wash properly. Honestly, these paddles, despite them snapping a lot. Generally speaking, they snap because something will come out during the wash, slip down there, and then end up hitting the paddles from underneath, breaking the tabs. That's the only reason why they break, um, generally. Right, so here's our deterrent drawer. It's the typical swivel one. Um, we've also got this that also comes out. This doesn't clip back or anything, it just sits there. The drawer will hold this back. But it will open it up and it will show you the programs. Um, obviously numbers 1 to 15 for the dial, but it also uh, tells you the loading areas for the drawer, so I don't have to tell you. So we've got the fabric softener, the pre-wash, and the wash. And then we've got um, a little thing for only for liquid soap. If you're wondering where that is, that's here. So that comes out. And that sits in there. Like that. And um, it will show you on the, um, the milliliters levels for liquid when you're pouring it in. They just put it back in there when you're not using it. Um, we've also got our fabric softener here. Um, so obviously this is pre-wash, that's the main wash, and that's the fabric softener. Right, so we're going to select program three. Cotton. Um, Alright, it's going to start off at 4 hours 10, and then the cycle time should drop. Right. So we'll do a fill, and then it'll drain. Just two fills it'll drain. And then it'll fill up again. But, before I show you anything else, I'll show you this. So, during the first few minutes of the cycle, you will have, um, you've got stop and add flashing up. You want to add something to the wash by accident within the first sort of up to 20 or even 30 minutes, depending on what cycle you selected. <laughs> Just simply hit the play pause button. You can then open the side door, add what you need to add, close it back up, then resume. And it will just continue from where it's left off. So now we're, wait, we're waiting for this pause. Um, it pauses for about a minute between this fill and then the drain. So it'll drain and then um, we'll go away and then it will fill up with water and then start washing.
And just like that, it's dropped to 1 hour 37. And it was still not washing.
Right, so the cycle's complete. The door can now be opened. These are impeccably dry. Cool. Um, it's got an automatic on off, so if this doesn't get touched for um, five minutes after the cycle's ended, it will go off automatically. So we'll switch it off like that. Right, so I'm going to give this out of 10. Well, um, there's a lot of things I actually don't like about this machine. Um, I don't like the fact that if you select speed or eco, it basically limits the final spin to quite a really short one. I don't like the fact that eco is actually just uh, rapid, where it's slightly more economical. Why isn't just there's no intensive option? Um, one upside though, um, the times there are obviously the times for a full load. But it also incorporates like half an hour for balancing, so if it doesn't need that, it'll actually be half an hour uh, shorter anyway. So, Eco with full loads can actually only take about like 4 hours 20, for example. Um, I don't like the fact the jet doesn't come on every cycle. It only comes on on Con Eco, um, or if you select Eco, or if you select Active Care. Hmm. Um, I haven't used the cold wash function on it yet so I'm not sure how that um, works whether or how to rate that I don't like okay the business wear obviously doesn't work on this but that isn't, that's just a sort of fault with the machine it's nothing else I can really test I don't like the fact that the options still carry on with each other um, it takes too long to balance sometimes it kind of faffs around doing that um, and the suspension is too soft. You know, it's trying to balance and then the whole suspension sort of moving. Not brilliant. It has got a Wi-Fi thing, which I forgot to mention um, up here. I haven't used it, so I don't know. Hmm. Frankly, I'm a bit disappointed. I love the machine in a certain way. But I'm disappointed um, overall. Most of the speed and rapid options basically um, really let this down. The, t the really long times also for the cycles really let this down. 4 hours 10 for a regular cotton cycle? Hmm. No. No, it's too long. It's 3 hours for a regular synthetics? Way too long. It's that rapid and you get a limited short final spin. You can't win. Six out of ten. Yeah, that's it. Six out of ten. It's like hot point. Do you have the possibility to where you select speed and you might be able to get a full fourteen hundred RPM spin? I mean, come on, you can set spin only at fourteen hundred RPM and it's ten minutes long. Just need to tweak something like that. Even if it meant adding on an extra five minutes or so, I'm not really that bothered. If it's an extra five minutes, at least then my clothes won't come out soaking wet at the end of the cycle or won't so use rapid. There you go. And that's my final review.